Hi, I'm Alicia Barnes with Milady. I'm excited you've taken a little time out of your really busy day to watch this presentation. I'm going to share a tip or two with you to make your life a little bit easier in the classroom. I hope you enjoy. When I ask educators what challenges they face in their day-to-day -day world, one of the most common responses I get is engaging students. And I think we can all relate to that. We all have students who are not engaged regardless of which discipline we teach, whether we teach in public or private schools, secondary or post-secondary, we all struggle with getting students engaged with what we are doing. We have students who just don't wanna be there. We have students who sleep or daydream through class. We have students that are just more interested in other things. The challenge is there's not just one quick answer for you. We can't just implement one new thing and it takes care of all of our problems. No, this is something that we have to address every day, every class, every presentation. We have to incorporate a variety of activities from games to ideas to teaching methods, behaviors. How we show up is every bit as critical as what we do in those classes. We have to incorporate a variety of all this into our daily world in order to engage our students and keep them engaged. Today's students are used to constant stimuli. If we are not doing something to engage them, they will find other ways to engage themselves. In today's world, we're no longer dealing with traditional distractions like sleeping in class or disinterest. We are dealing with other things like the competition of phones and Facebook and Twitter and texting and all of that stuff that we have to counteract. And what it comes down to is we have to find ways to engage them and make our rooms active, make our student salons active. If we don't do this, the students are going to do something on their own to make it active. So the question is, how do I do that? How do I make my classes action impact? How do I engage them? How do I motivate the students? How do I do that in the student salon? Well, I got a couple of ideas for you. What about competitions? Now, I know we've all done competitions, but how do you change it up? Consider making things into a competition like a technical relay race where you have a perm competition and you create teams of five and each team member stands behind a line. And when you blow a whistle, one team member runs up to the mannequin head and has to roll three perm rods and then run back to the line and the next person on their team goes and then the next person and it goes on and on until the head is wrapped or the section is wrapped that you wanted to do. And you need to judge it not based on who finishes the fastest, but also on neatness, on base, half base, all of those type of things. You could do this with hairstyling, makeup, anything we teach. Turn it into a technical relay race. One tool you might want to use is what we call mnemonics. Now, a mnemonic is a memory tool that is designed to assist the learner in their memory. Basically, it's a code that you put together. It can be a word, it can be a phrase, it can be a song, or any method that will help students trigger the memory in terms of what they are learning. Here's an example of one I got from an educator in our industry. Every cow needs milking. Now what that stands for is you can use it to help remember the various types of tissue. So you take the first letter from each word. E is the epithelial tissues. C is the connective tissues, N is nerve tissues, and, and M is the muscle tissues. So see how easy that is? Networking is one that we know in business, but I also want to encourage you to use it in the school. We need to teach students how critical it is to network because that is, after all, what's going to help make them successful in the salon is how they build their business. But we can incorporate networking activities into the classroom, and it's a great way to engage the students. You can do it in a regular theory class by having them mingle around the room and discuss what their ahas are, what they have learned that day. Maybe you can have them talk about what they're still not sure about, just networking around with the other students. We want to make sure that we are providing options to our students. Now, this one is hard because I think a lot of us go in with the attitude, I'm the teacher, I'm in charge, it's my way or the highway, right? Well, no, we really shouldn't be that way. The thing about this generation of students is they have grown up with options. You know, I grew up with three TV channels. That's all I got to watch and then that was it. This generation has access to information at their fingertips, in their hand, with their phone, they can watch anything they want at any time of day. On demand, Netflix, Hulu, options. They have options, options, options. We don't need that many options in our school, but when you're giving out assignments, maybe you have a couple of options for students to choose from, and that will help them feel as if they have control over their education. 
Now, because students are used to options and because they have these very short attention spans, they receive and filter information very quickly in small bite-sized pieces. So I think that's what we need to do in our classrooms. Instead of lecturing for 60 minutes and expecting our students to stay engaged, we have to start taking our content and reducing it down into snackable pieces. That doesn't mean we don't teach it all. It just means we teach a little bit and then we do some sort of engaging activity. We teach a little bit more and then we do something else that will engage them to the content that they just learned. Rather than lecture, 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 and then do an activity, you want a short lecture activity, short lecture activity, short lecture demo, short lecture video. You see what I'm saying? You really want to change it up and make it snackable. Now, these are just a few quick ideas on how we can better engage our students and involve them in their learning and really help motivate them to action. If you are interested in learning more on how you can engage your students, we have a three-part Master Educator webinar series called Education in Action A to Z Classroom Tools that will give you more ideas on how to engage and motivate your students in both the classroom and the student salon. If you have any questions about Milady's Master Educator online instructor training classes, please feel free to email us at info at milady.com.